Well, the footprints are not what's sacred. What was in their hearts is what's sacred. The methodology and the people involved and the way that they thought um, is not sacred. What's sacred is the values and the vision that they had. That's the sacred part of what we should be following. So I wouldn't want to pass on to the emerging generation that you must walk in my footprints, meaning do it like I did it with the people that I did it with, with the methodologies and the mindsets that I used because that version of me that first of all set those footprints is a long past version of me and version of whatever it is that we're involved in the business or the church or the organization or the political party so the footprints are not sacred today you are not obliged to follow in our footprints I think you are more obliged we are more obliged to follow the sacredness of what was in the heart that created those footprints so follow the heart of the generation that went before us follow what you admire and love about their heart their spirit their vision their dream but make your own footprints forge your own path people will accuse you of not following and being loyal to their footsteps they'll do that but I want to teach you something today from this speech that the footprints are not sacred the heart that created the footprints is where the eternal sacred things live let's follow the heart let's remember and catch the heart let's not get confused between that and the footprints that those hearts made footprints are not sacred the heart of the people that created those footprints is where all the sacred stuff is follow that